Welcome to the test bench. I am in the process of showing you an RB10 FR Sky redundancy bus using a Tyrannus and OpenTX and two battery inputs. And what I wanted to show you is on the radio, I can monitor two batteries. I also want to explain what the redundancy bus does. Redundancy bus, um, let's get down to the voltages. You can hook up two receiver batteries to this. And if the voltages are the same, the RB10 will consume at the same rate both batteries, therefore doubling your capacity. Uh, this little setup, I'm using a 2000 milliamp uh, nickel metal hydride battery. And I'm also using a variable DC power supply. And I've got my telemetry all set up. I'm using a receiver of X8R. And what we've got is telemetry set up on the Tyrannus. And that's what I'm going to show you here in a kind of a step or a stagger format. What we have is um, RB1V, RB2V, and then the receiver battery. So the first two uh, screens show you the two DC power sources hooked up to the RB10. And then the last segment of the screen shows you what the receiver telemetry is sending back to the radio showing us what it's actually getting. I'm going to pause the video. I'm resuming the video. I'm going to move the, uh, the camera a little bit on the left here and show you that I've got two inputs of the RB10. This one's labeled battery two, and this one's labeled battery one. Let's follow battery one. Let's see how this is getting power. Battery one is going to go to a switch, and then it's going to go to a battery. The switch is in the off position. That's why that first screen showed you a zero voltage. Let me confirm it with you. Okay, that first screen shows zero voltage. What I'm going to do now is show you that variable DC power supply is set for 6.1 volts. So 6.1 volts comes out of my variable DC power supply, goes to a switch, and is hooked up to battery 2 of this re uh, redundancy bus. The redundancy bus is communicating via S-Bus um, and smart port, my bad, back to um, the receiver. The receiver is sending telemetry of what voltage it's getting. So ideally, the variable DC power supply at 6.1 go into a choice of battery 1, which is 0 volts, and battery 2, which is 6.1, it's going to switch and tell us on the receiver what voltages we're getting. And that's why the battery on the far right from the receiver is showing 6.1. And then the middle cell is battery 2. So while this is on, I'm going to turn on... Um, battery one. If you notice, I have 5.8 volts and 6.07 for battery one and battery two. This comparator circuit on the RB10 understands that battery two is a higher voltage. So that's why um, we're getting 6.1 volts. And that's confirmed on the DC power supply. As you saw, battery 1 was 5.8 volts. All I want to do is turn this variable DC power supply down below 5.8 volts. And you're going to see that in real time. I'm going to try to do this in one take. And that will conclude this video, showing you how the comparator circuit works. So here I go, adjusting the voltage of the DC power supply, variable DC power supply, from 6.1 to something less than the other battery.
Okay. I don't know if you can see, but I'm doing this super slow, and I apologize for that. But I made it to 5 volts on battery 2. And that's confirmed on the middle screen. But if you look, the 5 volts is less than the battery on voltage uh, um, RB1. Therefore, the comparator circuits are already switched. And the receiver is now getting 5.7 volts. So I just wanted to show you if they match, let's try to match battery one to 5.6 volts. Okay. Well, that was kind of crazy. 5.5 volts on my variable DC power supply. They're both about 5.5 volts. The receiver battery is about 5.7. And the comparator circuit is going to look at both voltages of RB1 and RB2. And if they're the same, it's going to consume from both. And that's why you can double your, um, your capacity. So that's the quick orientation of what's going on. So... In real time, let's lose a let's lose a battery. Okay, I'm gonna lose um, let's let's lose battery two, which is the variable DC power supply. Turned it off. Should show zero volts, and then it should show the voltage as re uh, uh, relayed by the telemetry. And you can see that the battery is 5.4 volts, uh, RB1. Uh, let's reverse the condition. Let's turn off battery uh, 1. Just wanted to show you that no telemetry was lost. And we're now running at 5.5 volts. And let's, let's turn the variable DC power supply up. Six point one volts. Just want to show you that that is what's getting to the receiver. So that concludes the RB ten for voltages. How it switches seamlessly, no lag. I love it. If you lose a battery, the system will just compensate with the other battery. Uh, thank you very much for watching the video.